and welcome back to another short edition of JTV. In the last video that I put up, we talked about using EditorCap to filter images and words. And this time we're going to talk about monitoring images. We're going to be using a program called DriftNet. And this was originally designed for the Mac, I believe, and then ported to the Linux operating system. Now DriftNet has a couple of actual useful things you can do with it. The first thing is that there's a screensaver add-on out there that allows you to connect to a DriftNet server and create a dynamic screensaver right from all the images that are flying across your network. The other one is that you can monitor your network and make sure nobody's looking at anything they're not supposed to. And as an added addition, you can also use DriftNet to download large amounts of images without having to right-click on each one and go to Save As. So let's go ahead and get DriftNet started. So I'll go ahead and just type in DriftNet. If just typing DriftNet doesn't work, you may need to use the interface option, which is minus I, and then space, and then like ETH0, or depending on whatever interface you're using. Now let's go ahead and switch over to a web browser on my host machine. All right, we're going to go ahead and scroll down here, and we're going to go and click on a different page. and that's going to load up some more images there for us and then we'll switch back over to DriftNet and as we can see we've got all of the images that showed up on that page now if we wanted to save an image all we have to do is just click on it so we could just click on a few images here you don't have to right click and go to save as or anything like that and then once we have them saved We can open up the folder. And then inside that folder, as you can see, we have all the images that we clicked on. Uh, of course, we can open them up and look at them bigger if we want to and see that we just had to click on it. So it's a very easy to use application. And you can also combine this with other applications such as sniffers and things like that to get even more images from your network. And if you want to give it a try, all you have to do is download the Backtrack Auditor Suite and it comes with it. It's very easy to set up and very easy to use. So as I said before, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask them on the video. If I did anything incorrectly or you know an easier way, go ahead and leave a comment about that as well. And thanks again for watching.